in Kabul, I was the intelligence okay. officer. I guess I was the intelligence NCO for my for my unit there, um, and there was uh, uh, no intelligence operators were injured or killed during my time in Kabul, because like I, I mentioned, we were just we were building up our security presence at the time is sort of a slow process. But um, there was Canadian casualties when we were on the ground there. Uh, uh, three or four people were killed, uh, Canadians directly targeted, um, when I was there. And uh, I, knew, I knew a couple of these guys that I'd worked with before, or I had uh, friends who definitely knew. I mean, I was, while I was in Kabul, the 3rd Battalion of the Royal Canadian Regiment was uh, based in Camp Julian. And I had several friends that I was very good, you know, close with, um, part of that unit. And uh, that unit was uh, attacked and uh, people were killed. And uh, they were ambushed, uh, blown up with an IED. And then the same occurred on um, a route that we used almost on a daily basis. A guy had attacked, a, again, a Canadian convoy and uh, blown himself up as a suicide bomber when uh, our guys had gone by. And uh, that was tough to deal with because they were our people. And um, General Leslie was very upset by that uh, because we were in a position where there was very little we could do to counter that threat. And um, the loss of those lives was uh, it was palpable. You, uh, it's like losing a, a family member, and uh, it brings uh, brings you closer. And it, and it, uh, you have a resolve to make sure that what you do is uh, going to be right, and you're going to do your job, and uh, you pray that it doesn't happen to you.